<laughs> you bugger. Oh. That was horse bit. Oh dear. You are a monkey. Stop it. what he does. So I think the weather has broken at last. We're finally getting some above zero days. There's still plenty of snow, but you can tell that it is starting to warm up and melt. So we're going to go back to the hoop house. I want to get started on the heating project. So this is the hoop house. It's built off of the back of the garage. It's about 8 by 12 on the inside and has plenty of headroom. I'm really surprised at how well that worked out. And let's go inside. So the first experiment that I tried last year and we're going to set up again today is the GAT, G-A-H-T, Ground Air Heat Transfer. And what that means is there is a stop, 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 just stop. I, I have to stop it here because I proceed to ramble for, I don't know, half an hour and get absolutely nowhere with information. We are not going to do it this way. We are going to be more methodical. I wrote down the questions that I wanted to answer. I used to be a reporter. We can do this. What is the problem you're actually trying to solve? The hoop house gets very warm when the sun is shining. There's no insulation, so all that heat is lost when it gets cold out overnight. And if it goes below zero overnight, then it's going to be below zero in here, and I'm not going to be able to move my starts out here. That'll kill them. So we need to find a way to moderate the temperature. It can't get that hot during the day, and it can't get that cold during the night. That's the problem. <laughs> End. Can you, in as few words as possible, explain the point of the GAT system? Collect hot air, store underground, retrieve overnight moderate temperatures. This time, without being a smartass, can you briefly describe how it works? No. But I can read some notes that I made to make this work. Think of it as a battery underground storing heat. And we're charging it with a very long pipe of hot air. In my case, on the north side of the wall, there's a, a pipe that comes out of the ground and it's got a fan on the end of it. And the fan turns on when the temperature in the greenhouse reaches a certain point. The fan pushes air through the pipe and of course draws hot air along with it. So the next part of the pipe is buried in the ground and it runs along the central alleyway here. It runs from one end to this end and back again before it comes out of the ground. So in my case, that buried portion is about two feet down. The two legs of the system are about two feet apart and it's a four inch pipe and it is covered with rocks and soil and then bricks on top. I'm already losing my way. <laughs> okay. The part of the pipe that's under the ground is perforated drainage tile, four inches in diameter. And because it's perforated, it easily loses heat to the surrounding rocks and soil. And what comes out the other end then is cooler air, which helps to cool the greenhouse down during the day. Once this has been running for a long enough time, 
there is going to be enough heat stored in the ground that I can then start to run another fan overnight to draw the heat out and moderate the temperature in the greenhouse over the course of the nighttime. There, I did it! Well, that was great. I stopped to toast my success and I forgot to turn the camera back on. So let's do the next questions again. What did you buy or scrounge? primary purchase was the drainage tile. So I needed about 25 feet of four inch perforated drainage tile. Got that at the local co-op in town. I had a couple of lengths of solid pipe from another project. Uh, so that's the part that brings the air into the perforated pipe. I was able to recycle a computer fan. It's a 12 volt fan, so it is wired up to a car battery and the car battery is charged by a solar panel. Um, I already had the solar panel and the battery and the charge controller that goes with the, the solar panel, so that I didn't need to purchase that. Um, the wiring from the battery to the fan, I had to buy a little switch and I can't remember the name of what this switch is so I'll put something in the description. I'll try and remember to put something in the description. The little switch is an open circuit and it closes when the temperature reaches 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So the temperature uh, reaches 90, the circuit closes, the fan turns on, and starts to drive the air into the system. That's pretty cool. I also bought a data logger and it just arrived a couple days ago so I'm just starting to play with it now. It's a little thermostat, little puck, and it records the temperature and humidity every hour so I should be able to monitor my success or failure of this particular project over time. What? was the prep work. Pretty much the only thing I, had, I needed to do that was work was dig the trench. So down the center alley of my hoop house I dug down about two feet. I did it with a pick and a shovel so two feet was as far as I wanted to go. Last question. I know I'll be sorry I asked this but without waving your arms around or swinging around the camera can you show us the parts above ground? Let's see. I think my legs are asleep, so we'll try not to fall down. This is where the solar panel feeds the wire into the greenhouse. It comes this far, goes to the charge controller, and charges the batteries. Yes, I use bricks to hold the wire down on the battery. So. The wire runs from the battery to the computer fan. Yes, the computer fan is connected to a Cool Whip jug. This is the solid piece of pipe. Fits inside the perforated pipe. Gears down. Bloop. Into the ground. And like I said, runs back and forth along the alleyway until it comes back out on this side of the greenhouse. That's it. It's very simple. So I started it up yesterday. I got everything hooked up. I brought out the solar panel, got the battery hooked up, got the wires working. I'll see if I've got a bit of clip here. So you can hear the fan running. Everything appears to be working properly. So the battery must be charging up. And the switch doesn't turn on until it's 90 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. So it must be 90 degrees in here. Let's see what the data vlogger says. I will try and put a couple pictures in the comment section because I did take some photos while I was assembling all of this last spring. It did run all last spring but because I didn't have the data logger until a couple days ago, I don't really know whether it was working or not. 
I can assume it was. I'll assume it was. There are a couple of things that I'm doing wrong, and I know I'm doing them wrong. The pipe should have been much deeper in the ground. Uh, most systems, they say, should be like four feet, six feet, eight feet, whatever. It's not going to happen. All I'm trying to do is keep this place above zero. I'm not trying to heat it over the winter. So we're going to assume two feet's going to be good. We'll test it. We'll see. If it's not, then we'll go deeper. The pipe that's bringing the air in, I should make it longer so that the fan is drawing from the highest part of the greenhouse, which should be hotter sooner as heat rises. And um, I've got windows and ventilation in the wrong place. It's just not really moving air properly yet. We can fix that. We're going to fix that. And on that note, we shall sign off and run out of index cards asking me questions. So we will talk to you next time. Thanks and bye.